Focke-Wulf DA-152 was a World War II German high-altitude fighter interceptor designed by Kurt Tank, the leading engineer of the Focke-Wulf company. Rumors of the B-29, which could cruise at altitudes at which no German aircraft could comfortably operate, added impetus for a dedicated high-altitude design. Kurt Tank originally designed the TA-152 using a Daimler-Benz DB603 engine as it offered better high-altitude performance and also a greater developmental potential. The model had heavy armament to allow it to deal quickly with enemy aircraft. It had three weapons, one 30mm cannon centered within the propeller hub and two 20mm cannons synchronized to fire through the propeller located in the wing roots. The TA-152 was among the fastest piston-engined fighters of the war. It was capable of 755 km per hour at 13,000 meters. Kurt Tank was flying an unarmed TA-152 in late 1944 to a meeting at the focke -Wolf plant when ground controllers warned him of two P-51 Mustangs. The enemy aircraft appeared behind tank, but he escaped by applying full power until they were no more than two dots on the horizon. By October 1944, the war was going very badly for Germany. The German Air Force realized the urgency pushing focke -Wolf to quickly have the TA-152 into production. As a result, several TA-152 prototypes crashed early into the test program. In the end, all available aircraft were pulled in a special squadron which never had more than 15 fighters available. An early combat occurred on the 14th of April 1945 when Sergeant Willy Reschke tried to intercept a De Havilland Mosquito but failed to catch up due to engine trouble. Operational missions were flown in April 1945, mostly escorting close support aircraft to the Battle of Berlin. Reschke claimed to Yakovlev Yak-9 near Berlin on the 24th of April. The TA-152 score at the end of the war was likely 7 victories and 4 losses in air combat, although a degree of uncertainty about those numbers exists. The first mission against American bombers took part on the 2nd of March 1945. There were no losses, as the climbing ability and the maneuverability of the TA-152 enabled them to evade attacks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.